journey of discovery of yourself, of life, of creation, of light, of being, will never end. Joy is yours forever. interested in the hybrids, yes. the hybrids that are living on ships, as far as I know, and, and hybrids living here with us. Well, they are not really on your planet yet. Okay, you think that, well, I have the impression that there are some people here who uh, definitely have more, uh, a larger portion, shall we say, of All of you are genetics. generally hybridized, yes. Right. But the hybrid children sometimes will make secret excursions to certain parts of your planet temporarily just to, uh, as you say, stick their feet in the water. Right. But the idea is they are not really living among you yet, not those children. But all the people on your planet are to some very Degrees hybridized. Now, with us hybridized humans, as yes. we are, is it possible that a one of us humans hybridized uh, yes. can actually live on a ship? Not just a visit, like in an encounter, an abduction, but living there. With the appropriate there. shift in frequency and a variety of other factors we will not go into, yes, it is possible. The probability is higher for some than others. But it also has to do with timing and what is going on specifically with each of those individuals and what they chose to explore in their lives. But yes, it's possible. Yes, we are. Is it possible that a one of us humans, hybridized, uh, can actually live on a ship? Not just a visit, like in an encounter, an abduction, With the but appropriate there. shift in frequency and a variety of other factors we will not go into, yes, it is possible. The probability is higher for some than others, but it also has to do with timing and what is going on specifically with each of those individuals and what they chose to explore in their lives. But yes, it's possible. Because yesterday I was was aware of a situation in which it appeared as if a human, a mother of somebody who's here, and that yesterday, um, that, that mother, as far as I know, is largely human, but seems to be living her life on a spaceship. Not living the whole life, but many humans will be taken on visitation to the ships for a variety of reasons from time to time. And would they stay there for, you know, months, years? It is exceedingly, exceedingly, exceedingly rare. It has happened, but it's exceedingly rare. And no, I'm not going to tell you how many. Anyway, um, that this race will Okay. 
Extended experience aboard extraterrestrial craft, and a large portion of their lives are spent on some of those crafts. Thirteen crafts. Each one of them has a connection vibrationally to the it isn't the one that you're thinking They are not one of them, not to the degree that we are talking about. They may have some experiences, but not to the degree of extension that you're referring to. The degree of extension you're referring to is only experienced by the 13 that I have just referred to, and the person you're talking about is not one of them. Anything is possible. We only really discuss problems. And those probabilities are determined by the parallel realities that you see. So it is always possible, but it has not been determined because it is in flux. From this point forward, however, if you wish in our conversation, you may simply refer to the rest of the Thank you for the as well, because now the opening of that door means that there can be more information downloaded from them. Well, some years ago, one moment. Our ship over Sedona is now uh, 1,977 miles above our planet lower than it was in Again, being used as a barometer for how close you are coming to contact. The closer our ship descends toward the surface of your planet, the closer you are to contact. And where we were at 2,500 and then 2,000 was another breakthrough. This breakthrough of connecting to the 13 has shifted as well still. 1,977. Thank you. We thank you for allowing us to descend. Oh, by the way, the creation of the creators is a name. His name is Jehovah. His name is Joshua. It is the Holy Spirit that connects us all to this planet, delivering us into a level of consciousness only few in the history of this planet have yet to touch. Now, why I'm doing this is more important than discussing the meaning of the power of the universe. You may have already figured it out. Some of you. They are in the right now with the number of 13 silos. And silos are making many this. more now, transmissions. I have an to offspring on this planet. Silo the trickster. 
cannot be responsible for what he decides to do. But he will shake many of his moves from the shaking to be shaken. Like a race that has launched upon the beach with amnesia. With no idea of how things become, yet the clues are all around you. So many races have visited this planet since yes. the creation of its And in the vibration of all races were created by the Lord Jehovah, but not all represent the Lord. They are the Nephilim, the Antichrist, the Fallen Angels. Like they have left many clues, in the artifacts, messages, half breeds, or even wonders of the world, which the majority of the people who will continue to. This cover includes the captivity of the Zeta Reticula. You can the Orion system. This race is also known as the Rank. This was in the beginning of the year 1812. Not just think about it. The Lord defines it in a way that he is the military aspects of the reality. The more you are in control, the more you are shaken in that way. The more you are still in Science and history is part of the children of this world. It has been severely increased. There are several of the single as established on this planet, all by different races, some underground, some under the ocean, and some on the dark side of the planet. Some earthly made, some extraterrestrial, just as it is with the crack or the flying chocolates witnessed by millions of people on this planet, which is all being very of the beaches 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 of the and to live your life believing that your governments are looking out for your best Your governments are also a threat to some of us who wish to reveal the truth. Your governments continue to keep this hidden because they have an agreement to do so. They were told what to do and what to say, and they were given a time for it to do it. It's all part of a bigger conspiracy than just the governments of this world. It's all part of a wider agenda and a bigger plan than a thousand years ago. Perhaps of what some individuals on your planet have called rather than the same thing from your black box. If you continue to laugh at me, then it only proves that you are scared. So, I'll not be mixed in with this man. In five years, the peace of revolution is the first. The only thing is awakening over the heart of the The question of how far we are alone. Some of you are in pain, but most of you control the
those with great knowledge can easily be distinguished between the PGS and the reality of what is current in the Thank you so much.